Right now, we're going to kick things off with our first game, and it's a big one. Had a big day yesterday, Star Wars Battlefront 2. I'm now joined by game producer Craig McLeod. Uh, Craig, uh, great to have you with us. Uh, straight down from EA Play, a, a big day for you guys yesterday, revealing multiplayer, right? Yeah, no, it was absolutely, it was a huge day. I mean, as game developers, we love what we do, and, and we do everything for our players. So to yeah. finally, after working behind closed doors for so long, to finally release it to the public and, and show them and allow not only show them, but allow them to get hands-on. That was That's really, really important for us. Absolutely. So let's talk about Battlefront 2. First of all, roll the clock back a little bit to the first <laughs> Battlefront. Uh, you know, a lot of people thought it looked visually really compelling. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, there was, I certainly was a little disappointed that there wasn't a campaign to it. Uh, we want those epic Star Wars moments. And, uh, you know, that's something obviously you, you addressed right out from the gate with Battlefront 2, right? You wanted to add a single player campaign? Absolutely. I mean, you know, it's so important for the Star Wars universe to be able to tell that story. And that's one of the first things that we want to address. And not only tell a story, but tell like an untold story with a new hero, yeah. Aiden. Uh, that was really important for us. And another twist is that we're actually telling it from the side of the Galactic Empire. Yes. So it's where, you know, they're the good guys. I've grown up and I assume that the Empire is, is in the right. And so this is a completely new story that we've never told before. Right, we see in the trailer the, uh, the Death Star blowing up there, so shown from sort of a different perspective. Um, I also read that the campaign, there, there's going to be a mission where you'll get to play as Luke Skywalker? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, this is not just a story about Aiden, but also her journey and, and where she crossed paths with certain heroes you know, so yeah. that we get those familiar heroes such as Luke Skywalker, as well as the journey that, that Aiden takes yeah. uh, on her own. And what this does is it bridges the gap from the Return of the Jedi all the way up until The Force Awakens. So there's okay. this large span of time that hasn't really been investigated that much. And so we get to create a really creative space in there. Yeah, well, we can't wait to see that. I know you guys are, you aren't really showing a lot of the campaign here at E3, right? It's more of a focus on multiplayer? It's much more of a focus yeah. on multiplayer. So we, we announced a lot about our campaign at, back at Celebration. Yep. And here we really want to sort of show off the multiplayer, what we've been doing at the DICE studio, and that incredible 40-player action that yep. uh, hopefully you saw on the live stream. Yes, 20 on 20, uh, Assault on Thede yesterday. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about one of the cool things about Battlefront that I, you know, I've always loved since the inception of the series is that it's... You know, it's, it's mixing and matching different Star Wars characters mm -hmm. from different eras. You've got all three eras. I mean, we saw in the trailer, I mean, you, you know, you've got Yoda, you've got Kylo Ren, yeah. you've got all these characters all together. Um, was it clear from the get-go that you wanted to include all three and, of course, you know, The Last Jedi, too? Right? Absolutely. So, I mean, we, you know, we had to build a foundation with our first game, and we, we honed it into the original trilogy. We felt that was the right place to start, but yeah. we know that we want to expand. This universe is huge, uh, and we heard from our fans loud and clear. It's like, we want more. We want the prequels. We want the new trilogy. We want to tie this all together. We want all of these heroes that we know. Uh, yeah. So it was incredibly exciting for us, and it's great here with, uh, with the assault on Thede. You know, we actually get to show that prequel and allow people to get hands on. Yeah, no, it looked great yesterday. You had the 20 on 20 uh, multiplayer that uh, looked uh, pretty epic. Uh, I saw some some air combat. It's space combat. Will that be in this game? Yep. So we're gonna we're also bringing space battles in. Yeah. Uh, we we actually did a first touch with our live service from our first game when we did the Death Star, yep. and we got some really great feedback. But we knew that we want this to be a part of the base game when we launch it. So space battles will be a huge part. Uh, we have Criterion and Motive and yeah. DICE, these three studios coming together with incredible storytelling experience, great vehicle expertise, and obviously DICE be able to build this incredibly uh, immersive and, and uh, dynamic sandbox that yeah. you know, really very few games can create. Will we get space battles in campaign too? Uh, so the campaign will move. Uh, will have space. I mean, I, if, uh, you'll actually in one of them, you'll be able to fly in a in a tie fire, and you'll come and you'll dock into a uh, right. a space station, and then you will then move on on oh, foot. Cool. So we're really trying to make it feel as dynamic and unique as possible. That's cool. So even moving between sort of uh, different experiences, of course, that you can do uh, with the Frostbite engine. So let's talk a little bit about MP. Some of the changes uh, in the class system. Let's talk about how that sort of is different and, and refined for Battlefront Two. Yeah. So we heard loud and clear, but people People want more team play, yeah. uh, and the class system is a great way to do that. So we have four mm -hmm. unique classes. We have the assault class, and this is great for run and gun. You know, taking that front line, that charge to the enemy. We have the heavy class, which is fantastic for laying down uh, sort of cover fire with this huge sentry mode and this this uh, fantastic minigun. We have the specialist, uh, a ranged expert, great for those snipers who really enjoy keeping their distance. And then we also have an officer class. And what that does is it allows, if you're not as good at shooting as some people, or maybe like me, you're getting a little bit older and you don't quite have that Twitch gameplay, yeah. you can support your team in a really positive way. 
Uh, so, and when you combine these four classes together, you create a dynamic that uh, you didn't see in the first game with the partner system. Uh, so we're really trying to sort of create much more organic and dynamic team play. Wow. Um, let's talk about something that was announced yesterday. John Boyega was on uh, videotape. He's in a play in London. Uh, but Last Jedi, uh, can't yeah. wait for it in December, this game coming out uh, before the movie. And you've announced, I guess, a DLC, you know, a lot of, a lot of frustrations, I think, from yeah. uh, Angry Joe and the like about sort of the, <laughs> uh, the paid model around uh, Battlefront. This game, is you, everything's going to be free? Is that right, movie? Everything's going to be free. I mean, so... Uh, we, is that really true? Nate? You're, there's gonna be there's gotta be something you're gonna get people pay for, but the core you, like so I mean so basically the way that this works is that we have free seasons, right? right. So what we want to do is we want to keep that community together. Yeah. Uh, you know we don't want to fragment it. I don't I don't want to sort of worry about has my friend purchased this? Have I purchased yeah. this? And so we keep everyone together. It means that you find matches quicker, and it means that you keep a community in a really positive. So way. Last Jedi, when that content gets dropped, if I bought the game, everyone's gonna get. The everyone's life. gonna get it, you know. So it, it's not a case I have to wonder whether my friends have it or not. Yeah. Everybody gets it. So when Finn drops, when Phasma drops, when the new planet of Crate drops, then everybody will have access to it and everyone will be able to play together as one community. Wow, all right. So, and that's, you know, you guys have done a great job with sort of your Battlefield games of continuing the story. So, that's something. How long are you committing to new content for Battlefront 2? Uh, year, so, I mean, we, we haven't really set that time. Yeah. Uh, we want to keep continuing building content for uh, cool. as long as we can and, and as much as, as people want to play. Uh, we, we have a, a really ambitious plan. We're not going to exactly those details just yet, but a, a very ambitious plan where we're going to have multiple seasons where we can start focusing on different aspects yeah. of the Star Wars universe. So we'll start with The Last Jedi, you know, tie in a, to that movie because obviously everyone's super excited about that movie and, yeah. and they'll want to play that experience within our game. And then that gives us a chance for other seasons to go and move into different directions and, and touch different parts of this universe. Wow, well, it looks uh, looks really good, as it always does with DICE, but I think what people are excited about this is that there's going to be a little bit more depth um, to the, uh, you know, the, cam the campaign, of course, for the first time, and then also adding in all the uh, MP aspects, so we can't wait to, uh, to see more. Are you guys going to let people, are you going to do a beta or anything in advance and let people kind of jump into this world? Yeah, no, absolutely. We'll have a beta, and uh, actually, if you pre-order, then you will get early access to this beta. Okay. Uh, it's really important for us to have a beta because it's a great way to sort of get it out to the players so they can yeah. get hands on it. It's another great way to get just a whole bunch of feedback. Uh, one of the things that we are constantly doing is we're listening to our community, to our right. players. We have a, an incredible Game Changers program, uh, which you saw from the live stream, that provide invaluable feedback. So it's yeah. all about listening, uh, taking as much of this uh, feedback as possible to really create the best experience we can. All right, Theed going to be the beta, or where are we going to uh, play? The, yeah, so, so Theed, this is our demo here. Yeah. Uh, absolutely is, is a great candidate for, for the beta. I think we want as many people as possible to get their hands onto it. Yeah. Uh, it, has, uh, it really has everything. You know, It starts off in this first stage where you're escorting this massive MTT. Yeah. We really create this huge vehicle sandbox that DICE is so known for. And then once we get to that climax, and if, you know, if the droids are successful, they burst into that palace. Yeah. We can create tighter, more intense uh, corridor gameplay where the troopers, the elite units, and of course the heroes really come to the forefront. Awesome. Well, it looks good. Thank you for making the trek down from Hollywood. Uh, Craig, great <laughs> to see you. And uh, we'll see more of Star Wars, I'm sure, over the next couple of days uh, here at E3. Uh, all right. Well, coming up.